wow, you came back to see me again? Thank you. Today, I am making oatmeal and honey soap with nothing else added. Just oatmeal and honey. There will be no fragrance added and no type of colorants added. You see bits of hard oil still floating in here. When I pour my lye water in here, the lye water is very hot, so it will melt those. So let's add our lye water. I've been watching a lot of Bob Ross lately. All of his episodes are on YouTube to watch for free. I will just turn on Bob Ross while I'm cleaning or while I was preparing to make this soap, getting everything ready, all the ingredients measured out and stuff. He has a very good outlook on life and he's a very practical man and he's just very funny. I just really enjoy his positive attitude and how he can crack jokes and if you don't know who Bob Ross is, look up Bob Ross. He's a painter. I actually have zero interest in painting, but it is fascinating to watch him paint and listen to him talk. Okay, I'm going to mix this a little bit and then I'm going to add my oatmeal and honey. I forgot to tell you what oils are in here. We have got lard, coconut oil, castor oil, olive oil, and canola oil. So many oils. Isn't that pretty? Looks very creamy. So I'm just going to set that over there. We'll add two tablespoons of honey because it's one tablespoon per pound. I think. I can't remember, was it one tablespoon or one teaspoon per pound? <laughs> and then our oatmeal. All right, let's mix this up. Wow, look at how it darkened. Man, it turned orange. There we go. Wow. Wow, wow. The easiest pour and it just wasn't pouring. <laughs> I made a mess. My bowl poured funny. Clean that up. When I trimmed my last oatmeal soap to clean up the edges and stuff, I got these little rolls off of it. And just for fun, I was going to stick them in the top. Just for fun. They were just too pretty to grind up into shreds, you know? I mean, just look. Just look at it. How could you crunch that up? All right, I'm sure some of these are gonna, actually I'm sure a lot of these are gonna get cut when I cut the soap. That's okay, I know it's not even. I just did it because I didn't want to throw away those little things. See you soon. I think it's time to unmold this soap. It feels very hard, but it's only been one day. So I'm gonna find out right now. Let's see what it looks like in there. So, I just got a phone call saying that, oh, your social security number is at risk and is going to be deleted forever. My least favorite people are the ones who organize those phone calls. The, oh, your car warranty is up your car will be impounded, or your identity has been stolen, please call this number. I think those are some of the most evil organizations, whoever is in charge of those garbage phone calls, just make me so angry because people do fall for those. If my social security number was at risk, I would not be receiving a phone call from an automated lady's voice saying so and telling me to call, call a number. If my social security number was at risk, I would get an official letter in the mail from the capital of my state. But it's so frustrating because I know, I know for a fact that people believe these phone calls. It just makes me sick. I was so close to falling for a scam one time. I really believe that that day God was looking out for me because I almost lost a couple thousand dollars because I was getting, I was being, I needed a car. Like, our car was very old and very bad, and we needed a car, and there was this too good to be true, but didn't think about it at the moment, ad for a car. I don't even want to talk about it because it makes me angry. There's so many liars, and ever since I had that experience of almost losing a lot of money, I don't trust anybody when it comes to those serious things like <laughs> social security numbers or anything on the internet or through the phone. I don't even believe. 
If it's true, I've got to have it in writing with an official stamp and with asking me to come to the courthouse or something like that. I'm just so sick of these spam phone calls. So, did I just do this upside down? <laughs> I did. That's the second time I've ever done it upside down. Why do I, why do I do these things? I wish those scammers would get caught, but I guess it's hard to track them since they never deal in person. It's all through money orders and emails and bank accounts. Anyway, sorry to talk about that uh, negative topic, but that st stupid, silly, your social security number is going to be blocked forever phone call just reminded me of the deceitfulness and how mean some people are to other people for their benefits. And Anyways, let's stop talking about this. I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. It really means a lot to me when people watch my videos, like my videos, or leave a comment on my videos. It means a lot. So, thank you very much for your time. I hope that you have a fantastic day, and even better day than you had yesterday. See you later.